Hey, what's going on guys? Little Ethan here, and today I'm going to be playing The Sims 4. I just got this for the holidays, so let's get into it. So let's start by creating a new household. Alright, so let's start by... Yep, Laragaba. Oh, no, they're bringing us the tutorial. No. I know what to do. Don't bring me to the tutorial. Alright, so let's start by making our Sims, so... Do a randomization. Harsh goes Meva, huh? A make a war. Hit a gump slow. That's skiing at the store. No, I'm not going to the gallery. Hum boom in a bosh. Let's go to the gallery. Okay. Slow for Jelja. I'm liking that guy, but eh, no. Skimbo, you nabla. No. Zakini Mixlin. Wait, why does everyone have a mustache right now? <laughs> it's like everyone has the same face and everyone has a mustache. Okay. Oh, it's a torque. I actually like that guy. Alright, so let's uh, customize the character. So, The create a sim is so amazing. I'm such a big fan of the new create a sim. I hated the old sliders in The Sims 3. Because it just made it was very difficult like for someone who's not Ooh. that good with making sims it was very difficult with pe for people trying to actually make a sim that looked really good pretty unique so cool thing is so let me uh, no what okay click on his face so you can go to a detail edit mode which allows us to get really in depth with our character you can grab, drag a lot of different things and like start to make your character pretty unique. That's why I really love this new creative sim. The build mode is fantastic. Build mode's a lot of really, well, not a lot of fun, but it's really good. They did a really good job on the new creative sim and this creative sim and uh, building. Let's see. Hmm. I think of what kind of hair we should give him. I kind of like that hair right there. So then let's go into his ears and let's change accessories. I want earrings on him. And you can like increase all kinds of stuff. Like all right, let's go into the face over here and let's give our character some facial fix up his facial hair. Hmm. Yeah, I think that will work. Looks pretty neat. Alright, so then you can put four, uh, facial hair for all kinds of different parts of the character. So let's click on pants. Give him some nice pants because it's formal. Thing that I'm not a big fan with. There's only one thing I do not like. Well, actually, two things. The new create, the new thing. There's no creative style anymore, which really Ooh. makes me upset because creative style was really, really unique to the character. And then you have another thing called style looks, <laughs> which you can like look through these and choose like a different style for a new character. Then you can go through there, select some certain stuff. It's really neat. So you can see. Oh yeah, recently in one of the updates they added in somewhere. That's something that people were really upset about is there was no swimming. I was a little bit upset about that, but now we finally have all kinds of stuff. Let's go and find the t-shirt he's wearing part of it. Changes shorts to nice. I like it. Right. That's perfect. Okay, so then now let's go over to I like our. Uh, I like that. That's really nice. So then you have like aspirations and uh, traits. Yeah, party wear. So 
Let's finish up our character with this, so give me a different shirt. Ah! Is that okay? That's interesting. I'm thinking of giving him that kind of a shirt and then giving him those kind of pants. It's something that someone would normally wear. Then we got accessories, so let's go into formal attire. Let's figure out what kind of whoa, what your hip determines. Ah, oh, that's interesting. We got some rings and stuff, so let's check out the watch. You can go through here, put in different colors. Like, they do give you a nice range of options for these kind of stuff here. Let's go over to our main accessories and let's change our character's shirt. No. Uh, I'll go with a sweatshirt. One of these and then t shirt. Well, this depends on, like, if your our character is a like, geek or something. So do we want our character to be very, very fancy? I think so. Uh, yeah, control Z. I like the formal attire he was wearing before. Ah. So let's click on this, and I think maybe a sweatshirt. This one right there. Let's see what colors we can. I do give you a nice range of options. <laughs> I'm thinking we give him a nice uh, green hoodie with some, where's the pants? Some of those pants and then shoes. What kind of shoes should we give our character? I think those ones are nice and you get to like adjust the foot size of your character. You can be a pretty skinny person, you don't want him to be like. Perfect. Ooh, Yafa. Ponky Ebso. Ah. So, I just standard weight. All right. So aspiration. We got athletic. So it shows like different things we got. So creativity, deviance. Ah. I think we should do. Hmm. I'm gonna go with fortune. So you got different choices here, so. We should have a successful ah. career. Ah. Creativity. Interesting stuff there. <laughs> Difficult to decide. Love. Let's do your soulmate. <laughs> Alright. Let's go pick a trait. Alright, so pick different traits. The traits are actually, are, I like the new trait system. The old trait system is very hard to find the right thing you're looking for. So, what I'm gonna do for my character is I want him to be a geek. Which, we'll look at the little animation for the geek. So, Cribs! That was pretty Our cool. bluff. <laughs> Next one we're gonna select mm. is we want our character to be uh, neat and ambitious. There we go. So now we're gonna name him. I think. Uh, let's start. Let's randomize. Ah. Hmm. Tyler. Hmm. I think that seems pretty nice. We have our character. Uh -huh. I really like the character. So now that we're done, we can like kind of go in here and do some fine tuning to the character. And then let's click on this right here, personality. So he's a young adult and different 
so we need to figure out. So he's a young adult. Hmm. Menarskal? Huh? Let's give him a voice. What kind of voice? Friendship Stellaney. Chef Lita and soon. What is a? With the new voice hmm. options. Yazid. <laughs> Ravuda. So let's put it over. Ah, uh, Fanaya. I like that. Alright, then now we have different walk styles. So huh. default walk style. Party uh -huh. walk. Smoothie walk. Ooh. Swagger. Feminine. Uh. Tough walk. Uh. Goofy walk. Yep. Sluggish walk. And bouncy walk. Uh. So I'm thinking I go hmm. this <laughs> one. Because uh -huh. it just looks like a good walk. Alright. Got our character. Now all that we gotta do is hit the play button. So. Let's go. Alright, so here's our character. Alright. Here's the world system. Yep, there's one of my characters over there. Martson. So, I'm thinking we should start in a home now. Let's see. So, let's see. Okay, those show people that are inside actual homes. Wait. I can evict them and I can move in. That's pretty cool, but... Okay. I can't decide. Either I'm gonna go with the Streamlet Single, or I'm gonna go with, uh, Crick Cabana. I think I'm gonna go with this one. It seems like a nice little home. Uh, let's go. Right. So now we're going into the game. Loading screens look really fast. Alright, so I'm back, and the loading screen is done, so I'm over here in my home that I bought. And the only thing I did is I just added a TV. It's really cool. So, we have a new function in the game called Styled Rooms. Styled Rooms are really neat how they work. So, let's click on Bathroom. So, you can see there's different things here. So, you see, like, let me find a really neat looking bathroom. So, we see this bathroom right here. We're like, this bathroom looks awesome. So, you're saying, well, I don't want to buy the entire bathroom. Maybe I just want to buy the wallpaper. Click on the wallpaper. I don't want to... Why am I building stairs? See? And we just bought that wallpaper. You can just click on the object in here. You select it, and it gives you the exact and it gives you that exact same wallpaper. So yeah, that's I think that's really cool. Alright. So going into more further things that they added to this game, which I really love, is the new build mode. The new things that they add in build mode. So let's click on a, a TV. So before you mainly just had like the TV. Let me find the spot to put it. Mainly had the TV and it was like maybe up to there. You couldn't do anything about it. People thought it was really cool. Okay. Now on The Sims 4 you can do this. Just put it all in different places. It's really neat how they have like, you can do it with posters, you can do it with so much stuff. Like I really like this a lot. Okay. So now let's go back into live mode. Alright. So we have of a character. Right, so skills. I don't care about the skills. Let's go and make some food. So let's see. He's thinking about debate captains. Okay. Wait, where are you going? He wants to start a new career. So starting a new career from a phone or. Okay, so a phone or computer. So these different things here. So let's click on. Oh yeah, nice, you can do different games. That's interesting. Travel. What are you doing? Social. Okay, so how do you get a, uh, a job? Okay, there we go. Find a job. So our character's gonna find a job. What is up with your phone, bro? Oh, whoa. Oh, this is interesting. So... I haven't actually got my sim a job yet when I first played this. So we have so many different kind of jobs to choose from. Really nice ones. So we have writer, culinary, entertainer, 
athlete, secret agent, hmm, business, tech guru, painter, astronaut, and criminal. Huh, that's interesting. Okay, so, hmm. I, I don't know, maybe a tech guru? Because live chat support agent, so it'll work. It looks like he'll only work, uh, I can't tell. Hmm. I'm either going to go tech guru or, oh, those are the only options. Like tech guru or maybe business. Uh, let's go tech guru. Alright, so we don't work Saturday, Sunday, or Monday. We only work Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and Saturday. So work is in two days. So we have two days to repair our character for stuff. So first thing is, let's. so it says we should play a game. So let's uh, play a game. But I want to sit down. Let's sit and we'll play a game. So X out of that. Here, sit down and play game. So, since he has a video gaming skill, our character will further develop <laughs> further develop skills. So, oh. different kind of things. So, yep, he has his gaming skill up there. So now, he's gonna start right there. So, play video games just started. So he just started his video gaming. So now we're going to go over into build mode, and let's go to objects by room. Let's find, uh, where is it starting to know? Computers. I want, like, a fun thing for the character. Audio, no. <laughs> yeah, let's just do this. Okay. So let's go all and see what kind of game systems we have. It's three thousand five seven hundred fifty dollars. That's that's uh, a lot of money. I don't have that much money right now. Okay, so let's go activities and skills. Let's see what's in this. That's surprisingly cheap for a character. All right, so we're gonna use the future cube. I don't know what this is. It seems interesting. Let's place that right there. Then we need some geeky stuff because our character is geek. But we gotta. We also have to remember that this is a temporary home for now. It's not gonna be a full-blown home. So yeah, let's make him. Let's put a, a woodworking table outside of the house. Put it right there so we can do some stuff back there. A money maker. Don't know what that is. Um, hmm. Well, let's just keep it to right there for now. Let's go into a uh, live mode. So now our character has some more stuff to do. So, oh, that's what that is. Okay, that basically is supposed to be a like Sims version of the Magic Eight Ball, basically. Okay, well, let's do something else for our character. So. Safely, so let's make a uh, horse sculpture. To allow him to tell jokes and write jokes on a computer. Hmm, that's interesting. All right, so we just started our video gaming uh, skill. So let's do ultra speed, and our character is now gonna make some stuff. So this is a new thing they added into the game: woodworking. I think it's really nice. It's a really cool looking skill. So we have like handiness, comedy, and video gaming. The highest one right now is handiness, which is going to allow our character later on, like if our stuff breaks, we can fix it and repair it. So it's going to be a little bit better. Um, 
Yeah, it's really neat. So, handiness is a good skill to have in the game. It's really, really good to have. So, going into more uh, details, we have our character doing that, and we have our house, which is so terrible, because it's just a basic home. We don't have enough money yet to do anything. Oh. Whoa. What did I get? Uh, inventory, inventory. There it is. I thought I made a... Well, I made a horse sculpture, apparently. <laughs> I thought I made a knife block. Well, let's make a knife block. So, a horse sculpture. I want to kind of put it up on a table right there. I really like it. Can you, uh, paint them? Hmm. It's interesting to find out later when I get this skill up. So he's gonna start doing this. Hmm. Alright, let's go into our uh, build buy mode. Mm. Let's see. Hmm. There's so much stuff in here to decide from. Okay, I don't know what this is, but if I just place it down, it seems interesting. Okay, so we need $3,750 to buy the Motion Monitor Gaming Mat. I think you'll like that. Your character is going to like that a lot, since he's a geeky kind of person. Alright. Let's, uh, let's go back in here. Right. Wait, what, 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 what did I do? Alright, and fast forward. So he's gonna make the knife block to store all of our knives. It's gonna be pretty useful to have. Alright, uh-oh. Oh, our sim's uncomfortable. Uh-oh, that's not good. He, he hurt his finger. I think he caught himself again. Quality okay. That This isn't even a knife block. It's just a bunch of scrap. It's not a knife block. Yeah, he's, he's pretty upset. Oh wow, he's having a bad day. You're right when emotions affect your character completely. Jeez. Like my character just caught himself on accident and he just messed up his entire day. Wow. Like he caught himself. He made food, tasted terrible, and then he started to get really, really Upset. Okay, now he's feeling fine. That's good. At least he's feeling fine now. Why do you have a yellow plum bob, bro? What's going on? Oh, no, he's hungry. Are you fixing up some food? Okay, good. But wow. This is interesting. Okay, guys. Well, that's all I got for this episode today. So, I hope you guys like this new series. Put in the comments below what I should do. So yeah, hope you guys liked it and see you guys later. Bye.